Okay, this is New York Steeler with a two-part video coming at you of T5 versus Compact Fluorescence. Now, there are a lot of debates online which lighting is better, which one gives off more lumens, more par, more light output, um, you know, uh, and, and there are several reasons why I've gone ahead and taken the plunge and changed this Coralife Compact fluorescent light fixture which you see installed here on the 30 gallon and I will be replacing it with this aquatic life T5 light fixture which I just got I just got it in the mail I was waiting for it in order for me to do this um, this video I'm not really gonna do the unboxing because it's gonna be difficult for me to hold the camera and do everything however I will do a second part of the video where I will be describing um, the T5 lighting fixture and I'm going to go into detail with that. I'm going to show you the differences between this compact fluorescent light and the light that this system gives out compared to that of four 39 watt T5 bulbs. Now let's talk about wattage, lights, and system size. There basically you know to make matters simple for us as hobbyists we tend to or the majority of the people in this hobby even those who are experts like to use the rule of thumb of watts per gallon when it comes to lighting your reef system now I can tell you that it's a pretty decent way and an easy way for you to know that you have intense lighting in your system if say you have three to five watts per gallon however this is an incorrect way for you to really go about it because what really matters when it comes to reef aquarium lighting is the lumens that a particular light fixture can pull out and a particular bulb or can give to the tank the lumens and the par are the most important aspects of knowing how well a lighting system is going to work on your on your on your tank on your reef system so with that said I'm going to tell you first the reason why I'm changing this light I'm not giving up on compact fluorescence let me get that straight and right off the bat I believe compact fluorescence are just as good as T5s but T5s are slightly better and I'm going to explain to you why but before I do that, this particular lighting system has been with me. This Coralife Lunar Aqualite Compact Fluorescent Light Fixture has been with me for six to seven years. Therein lies the problem. It's not that the system is seven years old. It's the fact that I live now in this house and before I lived here, I lived in Manhattan in, 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 in an apartment which that apartment burned down to the ground I could tell you I had a really horrible fire I almost died in that fire I can tell you here today right now that I am very lucky to be alive thank the Lord for that I must be here for a reason certainly not to make these these videos but there's gotta be a reason why I'm still here because when I tell you I almost died in that fire I almost died. I couldn't get out. Smoke inhalation. Everything. It was horrible. But that's a whole nother story. This light fixture was with me in that 45 gallon tank and it went through the fire. Because of the smoke and everything, I, you know, when I moved here, I cleaned it out. I opened it up. I, you know, I noticed that the system was malfunctioning. First, the fan gave out. Now, I opened up the system, rewired, I couldn't get the fan to work. I rewired it again, I couldn't get the fan to work. I could easily order a fan and install it into the system and get it working again. But however, that's not where the problem stops. The moonlight LEDs, one of the moonlight LEDs stopped working altogether and the other moonlight LED just started flickering continuously. Now. I opened up the system I was able to solve that but it's just the system is too old and the fan doesn't work and I'm afraid that it might burn out the ballast and cause a serious issue and I'm, I'm really traumatized with fires I don't want anything like that to happen so I've decided 
that I'm going to take a plunge into uh, T5 lighting. And the reason why I went with T5 lighting as opposed to compact fluorescence is because once again, we're going to go into what lumens is. Lumens is basically the, the strong amount of light that can be reflected towards your corals and the higher the lumens, the better the light. Using watts per gallon is not adequate because you can have a 65 watt incandescent light bulb and put it over a tank and it still wouldn't give off the right amount of lumens into your system. You have to have a very high output lighting or a um, T5 or compact fluorescence and when, and when we're talking about compact fluorescence we're talking about power compact fluorescence which give off even more light. Now when it comes to the differences between compact fluorescence and T5 when it comes to lumens it's pretty much the same ball. I can tell you that compact fluorescence when you use a 36 inch fixture like this which comes with two 96 watt light bulbs will give you the same amount of lumen somewhere in the 6,000 range or 5,000 range of that of a 4 tube 39 watt T5 light fixture but when we're talking 4 tubes 39 watt T5 light fixture that means that this light fixture this T5 fixture is only going to give you about 157 watts of total power when the compact fluorescence is going to give you 96 watts. I can, you know, I can go deep into details about the differences and stuff like that, but I'm going to make this even easier for you. What makes T5, let's say that T5 and compact fluorescence are exactly the same when it comes to light output. What makes T5 more effective at delivering the lumens to your corals is the fact that New technology has, um, has discovered that because T5s has much of a skinnier tube or a skinnier bulb, you can use individual reflectors. And by using individual reflectors, it directs the light down directly into your corals and gives more of that lumens needed. And for that reason, you're able to keep SPSs in your system under T5 lighting. With compact fluorescence, if we look here, and I'm going to turn off the, the, the white light so you guys can get just a quick glimpse, compact fluorescent tubes are much larger. And because they are much larger, these are actually two pieces. Each bulb comes with two long bulbs attached at the end of it. It is more difficult to individually add a reflector for each bulb. Therefore, this type of system has just one reflector all around it and that causes light to be dispersed outside of the tank in all areas of the tank. With T5 lighting, which I'm going to show you in video number two before I actually set it up, each each bulb has its own individual reflector and therein lies the difference in that the light output is going to be greater and the lumens that is delivered to your corals is going to be higher. So I'm not saying that compact fluorescents are not any good. Compact fluorescents are just as good. But if you want to keep SPS corals and you want to deliver the more the as much light as the lumens as you can then t5s with individual reflectors would be the way to go and that re and for that reason i've ordered this light fixture now this light fixture is 156 watts in total power my system is 16 inches tall and it has a four inch deep sand bed and is only a 30 gallon tank being that there's a four inch deep sand bed we're looking at a depth of about 14 inches this sliding system is going to give me approximately 5.2 watts per gallon for this system and i'm going to be able to keep sps's but i only have 10 minutes stay tuned for video number two where i'm going to show you the lights in more detail and this is new york stilo signing out subscribe if you like peace